Here is a wise virgin from among the number of the prudent, who went forth with lighted lamp to meet Christ. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. This day we celebrate the feast day of St. Catherine of Siena, virgin and doctor of the church. We also uh, offer this Mass for Mary Susan Thalen. Or is it Helen? Thalen, I guess. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us first call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and peace. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have, have mercy. mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love in her contemplation of the Lord's passion and her service of your church, grant through her intercession that your people, participating in the mystery of Christ, may ever exult in the revelation of his glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the Apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church, entering house after house and dragging out men and women. He handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip. When they heard it, and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in the city. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be God. God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Shout joyfully to God all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of his name. Proclaim his glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Alleluia. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Alleluia. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they pass on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. St. Catherine of Siena was a, a mystic, a, a theologian, a, a diplomat even, in her short life of 33 years. The 23rd child of a family born in Siena. And she, from her very first, earliest years, saw Christ and believed. She had a vision of him as a, as a child, as a five or six year old. And this continued relationship with our Lord, falling ever more deeply in love with him. She became a Dominican, a third order Dominican, 
but still continued to live in her parents' home. And her evident holiness and her uh, wisdom at such a young age drew people to her. The remarkable thing about St. Catherine's life is that she went to the great Western Schism had happened, where there was actually two and at one time three different popes. And the uh, Pope Greg, uh, Gregory the Eleventh was living in Avignon, away from Rome. And she went up to Avignon and pleaded and begged and cajoled him to go and return back to the city of Peter, back to Rome. She worked tirelessly for unity, unity within uh, the Italian peninsula, bringing peace between different of these little city-states, each time working again for the unity that is found in God. If we just stop and think this day, okay, where is there disunion in my life? And am, am I speaking some words and not living them in some way? Is there disunity within my work environment? Or how about in our families? That, that these, the most uh, elemental and subsidiary part of the church is the home. We should be working each day for, for the unity that is found in God, because we profess that every Sunday. One holy Catholic and apostolic church, the first mark of the church is unity. And so this day, let's pray and work towards unity in our own hearts and lives and in our own world and especially in our families. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father and for all those who lead and guide the church. They will help us draw us to greater unity of, of focus on, on seeing Christ. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for unity within our nation that we may work together, collaborate for the common good, especially to end this pandemic. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, especially uh, those uh, who are dying uh, from coronavirus, and for those who care for them. May they know safety. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. I'd like to pray for Dr. Susan Timoney and all women theologians, that they will be, uh, they will be thinkers and writers after the heart of Christ, like Catherine of Siena, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions addressed in the silence of our hearts. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our beloved dead, especially for Mary Susan, for whom this Mass is offered. May she live with God forever in heaven, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you gave us St. Catherine of Siena as a model and guide of unity and peace and love, with our eyes fixed always on you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands that will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of St. Catherine, so that, instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fer fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence, by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. the mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Mary Susan, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that she who is united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said, Dear Apostles, peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace, everybody. Peace, mercy. Peace, Mom. Peace, Sally. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be. If we walk in the light, as God is in light, in the light, then we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of His Son Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. Hallelujah. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of Saint Catherine through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.